Hey guys, so um, today we're quickly gonna have a look at exporting our plane. So we're gonna have this guy, this this little plane that we've been making. Well, not okay. Well, not actually a little plane, but just our plane. And we're gonna be sending him to uh, <laughs> to <laughs> to Roblox from here. So as you can see, it is not complete at all. It has a lot of errors and things. But what we're gonna be doing here is actually um, it, it's exporting is actually a pretty long process uh, if it's done if done correctly. So although this is like a horrible example for what I'm gonna teach you, but it, it should work. So a lot of people have complained that. Uh, once they like enter their plane or export it and they go into the plane they can't see in what's happening like it's just this and it just drives them nuts now uh, you can actually just see you've just seen that when i'm in sh uh, sh this this color white cube or, sh or viewport shading and i click this drop down menu which is the shading drop down menu and i click back face culling uh like b before i select it i I'm inside the plane and everything's fine. I can see the interior, but the second I click back face culling, everything's gone. Now this is because of something that you may use in maths, and it's it's like it's called normal. So normal is just like where your face is literally facing. So uh, to give like a good example of this, if we have a cube, I'm just gonna show you because this is actually very important that you guys learn this. And if you have a cube here, and this cube, uh, what we're going to do is literally go into edit mode and select faces. So it's always selected for us. So the, w the, play the, like, um, the way this face is facing the top, like, um, how do I explain this? It's pretty hard. So like the way this face is facing determines how the object is going to be like. It's gonna be you're gonna you're gonna view the object. So if I turn back face calling on here, everything's normal. But the second I go like inside the cube, I can't see. I can't see the inside. So to actually fix this error, um, what you have to do is use a modifier, and modifiers are actually incredibly helpful. So before we even get onto that, what usually people do is export their plane to Roblox. Go inside and with backface calling on, th they're gonna see this in Roblox Studio, and they're gonna be very confused because from the outside the plane might look okay, but from the inside it's just just vanished, it's gone. So this is what I actually used to do, and now that I figured backface calling, which it actually just allows you to see what you might see in Roblox Studio, just you can use this in Blender and fix these errors. So how do you how exactly do you fix this? You simply click on the mesh and you go on this little wrench or whatever you like to call it which is actually called modifier properties in blender and you click here go to add modifier and you and you just go down and you click solidify the second you just click it um, what this basically does it creates like two layers so that way you can see the inside of your mesh and here you might see these really weird things so before you even do anything, you want to quickly deselect this. So fill rim can actually just kind of messes this up. I'm never sure why this does it, but it it <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, you can actually just play around with the settings, but I wouldn't. I just turn fill rim off. And now, once we go into um, backface calling, we can see the inside of our plane. But we can't see our windows and that is because the windows normals are not facing outside so again again we're going to click the window solidify fill them off and boom oh, make sure you actually apply your modifier don't just leave it like that so apply and now we're inside and we can see windows this window, why can I not see this one? Oh, because I haven't used Solidify on this. Solidify, I'll fill rim off. And yay, I can see my mesh. 
Now, this could actually affect quite a bit. Now, I mean, not affect, but this can help you clear out a lot of errors. And another way to like do this is, and like for instance, if I have my engine in edit mode and I select all of this, I go here with this is two circles and like overlays, and I click on um, face orientation. Blue means where your face is, your like thing is facing out or outside, but red is. Just think of it, blue being good and red being bad. That's the best way I can explain this. So like, you can see there's red inside of the engine but blue outside. So, I would have like issues with this, but if I solidify the engine like this, uh, boom, I fix it. But a few things to keep in mind you should not use solidify all the time uh, if you need to flip your normals for instance if this is like uh, this is blue and you want to make a red you would quickly go here and then mesh normals and flip so now you can see you have flipped it so it's red so in roblox studio it's gonna look like very weird let's just say that because you would not be able to see the inside of your mesh so this is just part one to get an idea of I know it's very confusing because I had I struggled a lot with this but yeah this is just part one part two is gonna be coming soon but yeah just make sure back back face calling helps you to see how you're gonna view your uh, mesh in any game engine or basically where your normals are facing and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And make sure to contact me on my Discord. I'll put that in the link. And yeah, thanks for watching.